I just got to my campsite and I want to go through the whole process of kind of setting up my campground, unloading the Lance camper, unhooking the boat, all that kind of good stuff. And um, just do a quick video on the whole process because I think a lot of people look at this camper and think it's uh, kind of a menace, but it's not. It's actually quite simple. After you get used to it, it's actually uh, pretty easy. It takes a little time, but it's worth it in my opinion. It's a uh, you know lifestyle choice. It's a it's a something where I prefer to stay at the campgrounds than motels and those types of things. Anyways, with that all being said, here we go. By the way, I got here at about 302, 303, it's 308. Normally I like to look around and survey the area, tree limbs, where I am in proximity to the hookups like water, electric, and sewer, and make sure that before I drop the camper I'm in the prime area for backing the boat up into the campsite and just making good use, maximizing the site that I have. So now I just want to check and see if my septic can reach, which I think it can, but I just need to measure that out before I drop the camper. Plenty of space, plenty of length. Everything's good to go. So I got the septic set up there, pretty simple. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, do water and power and drop the camper. So now it's time to take off the torque lift tie down system. These are the fast guns and I actually have a locking set so I'm removing the locks and preparing to lower the jack stands on the Lance Camper. Got some uh, pieces of three-quarter inch plywood to act kind of as a platform. 
give my uh, footing just a little bit more stability. So we're going to go ahead and drop the jacks, lift the camper, drive out from underneath it, and then I'm going to hook up the water before I lower it back down because it's back in here. So got my little remotes for the uh, Atwood jacks and uh, there's a setting where you can run all four jacks at the same time. You have to monitor it because obviously the ground's uneven and you don't really know you don't really know which one's going to hit first and you don't want it coming up. You want to come uh, you know all four corners coming up at the same time and, and level. So front, front uh, driver's side has already hit the ground, so I'm going to go around and individually choose which jack to get it all touching ground at the same time. Okay, we're all, all four are touching on the ground now, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back over to running all four jacks, and that way it'll lift them up at the same time. We have lift off from the bottom of the truck, no longer supporting the weight of the camper. And then we're gonna go ahead and unhook the electrical, which the electrical ties in the camper to the battery power of the truck and helps to run all the, uh, the courtesy lights and the brake lights and so on and so forth. So it's right in there and it's back inside here. There we go. I'm going to pull it out and drape it over this jack stand. And I realize I realize that every every camper is going to be set up a little bit differently. But that's pretty much that. We're going to go ahead and drive out from underneath it. So the ground is unlevel and the truck is actually going up out from underneath the camper basically touching the bottom of the camper with the bed of the truck so I had to go ahead and raise it up a little bit more to get out from underneath it. Before I lower my camper I'm going to go ahead and remove my torque lift extension, super truss extension right there and uh, set that off underneath the camper so that when I lower it down I'm not trying to stoop underneath there holding this heavy piece of equipment. So here we go, we're going to remove the super truss extension made by torque lift. And obviously the, the beautiful thing about this piece of equipment is the fact that it enables me to tow my boat when I still have the camper. When I have the camper on there, I can still tow the boat because it gets my ball back underneath the uh, end of the camper. So that's that's the big uh, convenience there. That's what that makes this uh, torque lift super truss extension makes it all possible. Just kind of loosen up these turnbuckles. the electrical for the brakes and whatnot.
go ahead and put my hitch back in. Okay, uh, well, I need to put the water, hook the water up, and then we'll do the uh, lower the camper. It's just easier to hook the water up when, um, when the camper's up high. Okay, so the white one is the water, and this one's for, it's called like your sani flush or flushing your septic once you get ready to dump it. You hook up another hose separate from your water hose and run that through and it'll flush out your system so that you don't have anything residual left in there. So let's go ahead and drop the camper now. And you're gonna, again, you're gonna wanna watch the level of all sides. Okay, it's pretty much done. A couple things left to do. Pull up my stairs. And then I need to level it up. And I'll go in there and I've got these little levels I'll set on the ground or on the floor inside there. And that'll tell me whether it's level or not. But that's it for the most part. I'll go ahead and turn the water on. It's a bit of a mess in the camper, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through the leveling process. But that's pretty much it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the leveling. So, I've got these little levels like this, and I'll set them on the ground and just to tell me uh, whether it's right, left, and whether it's nose or front high or whatever like that. So it looks like it's fine on right and left hand sides but the front end's definitely high so drop that a little bit here okay so the front end is a little bit high but that's okay because i like my head a little bit higher than my feet i'd rather have say if this was the head my my head a little higher elevated than my feet and um, instead of it being like feet higher than head, all the blood rushes to your head. So that's it, oh, we're done. Make sure I go in here and switch the power from battery back up to shore power. A couple things, usually you're gonna need to kind of purge some of the bubbles that you have in the system from after you hooked up the water line. So you'll kind of hear these You'll run it for a little bit. And then there's the bubbles purging through the air, this purging through the hose. You usually need to run it for just a little bit and that'll get it done. Hang up my controller, turn it off. Okay, so I mean, that's pretty much it. Apparently from the time I turned on the camera till now, it's 34 minutes and 30 seconds. So, so that gives you a rough estimation. It generally takes about 30 minutes to put the camper on the ground from in the bed of the truck to on the ground and kind of set up camp. I'll have to go in and do a little housekeeping, so to speak, sweep and different things like that. But, uh, but I think we're, we're all set for the week. So some guys will see my truck and boat and camper situation and they'll think it's a little intimidating. How do you get that camper out of the bed of that truck? And then obviously, how do you get the boat here and all like that? So 
Thank you guys for tuning back into my YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. And until next time, good fishing.